hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be cutting and sewing a perfect basket bubu kaftan gown please subscribe like and share thank you in making a perfect basket bubu kaftan the materials that i use are ankara material brown paper a chalk, a marker, a tape, a scissors, a tailor's curve, and a ruler. I started by folding the material into two, just as in the video. I am making this gown for a client, so the full length is 60 inches. After arranging the material properly, I began by marking out 4 inches for the neck width. And 3 inches for the neck depth. This is for the back neckline. So I use my tailor's curve to make a curve connecting the two points together. For the front neck length, I marked 4 inches. Then I use my tailor's curve to connect the two points, making a curve. The shoulder line for my client is 18 inches, so I divided 18 inches by 2 which gives me 9 inches, then I marked. The remaining inches is the sleeve length. For the round sleeve, I marked out 12 inches. Then I use my ruler to draw a horizontal line across. I am drafting a straight line gown, so I will use the hip measurement to draw a straight line. The round hip measurement for my client is 45 inches. I divided 45 inches by 4, which gives me 11.25 plus 3 inch allowance. So I drew a line connecting the horizontal line. I use the hip measurement to draw a straight line all the way down the hemline. So I use my ruler to draw the vertical line down to the hemline. I made a curve at the armhole so it will be free when raising the arm. Then I use my scissors to cut beside the marked line. 
leaving one inch gap for seam allowance, just as I'm doing in the video. I extended the vertical line to the shoulder line using my ruler. Then I marked 5 inches from the vertical line. That is where the basket will start from. I use my ruler to connect the points together. Then I use my scissors to cut out the marked line. I will be extending the sleeve length to 18 inches from the measurement I took from my client. For the basket, I marked 7 inches for the neck length and 8 inches for the neck width. I use my ruler to draw a horizontal and a vertical line, making a square, just as in the video. You can make it a curve depending on what you want. Then I use my scissors to cut out the marked line. After cutting out this piece, I will use it to cut out on the brown paper. I use my scissors to cut the back neckline first. Then I gave a notch at the side of the neck. I opened it up just as in the video. Then I cut out the front neckline. This is how it looks like after cutting. I fold it back just as I'm doing in the video. I also folded the brown paper and placed the Ankara material on it. Then I use my marker to trace the line all round. On the brown paper, I marked half an inch all the way round the line. Then I use my ruler to draw the new line.
I cut the marked line with my scissors. Now I cut out the back neckline and gave a notch on the brown paper. Then I trace the front neck just as I'm doing in the video. If you are cutting the length of the front and the back neck equal, you don't have to do this process. Just cut the front and the back neck length at the same time. I use my scissors to cut out the front neckline. So I indicated the front and the back with the initial letters. Now I drew a vertical line across. Then I measured 1.5 inches all the way through, just as in the video. I drew vertical lines all through the brown paper with 1.5 inches gap in between. I repeated the same process to draw the horizontal line. Now I cut out the pieces of the material about 1.5 inches width and the length as long as you want it to be. So I folded the Ankara material. Then I used the material to sew on the vertical line. Now I'll go to my sewing machine and sew down on the line. This is how it looks like after sewing down the vertical lines. 
I will go to my sewing machine and sew down the horizontal line across. For the sleeve length, I use 8 inches width plus 1 inch seam allowance which gives me 9 inches and the length 24 inches. So I repeated the same process to the sleeve just as in the video. So I have finished making the basket for the sleeves and the neckline. For the round neck, I folded it like the way you use bias to fold and turn up round the neck. I opened the back so it will be easy for my clients to wear the gown. Now I place the basket using my office pin to secure it all the way round. I will go to my sewing machine and sew all the way round. This is how it looks like after sewing. Now I place the sleeve with the two right side facing each other. I will go to my sewing machine and sew all through. I will do the same process for both the sleeve. This is how it looks like after placing the sleeve on both sides. I turn the material to the wrong side and sew from the sleeve down to the hemline. Now I have finished sewing the both sides and I have double folded the hemline. After removing the paper, this is the result a perfect basket bubu kaftan gown. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, Lily Fashion Apparel, for more videos. Thank you.